Hey guys, thanks for tuning in here. Uh, Boosted RX7, aka Elite Gamers Academy. Um, here we are. I'm gonna show you guys my build as promised. Um, in the uh, PvP video, I promised you guys I would show you a um, updated character build here. So I think my last PvP I did was um, up to level 30. So about this point here, as you can see, there's my duelist uh, flurry. I got three into it. Um, so right here, available at 30 points. This is on down is new. Um, I've got infiltrator's action. Uh, that's three, which is every time you do a daily, you gain combat advantage for five seconds, which I've got it at three, so that's technically 15 seconds. So that's why my AP just shoots up when I do a daily. Um, impossible to catch. I've got one into it. Um, I don't really know or think that it's any um, use to put into more than just one. Um, you break free from most control effects in several seconds. You deflect all incoming attacks are immune uh, to further control effects. Um, so basically, you can buff that by two seconds. But to me, that's not really that's not really worth anything. Uh, a few seconds, it's not worth a point. Okay, so here we've got impact shot. Um, I really don't have any use for these gloomy cut or impact shot. Um, it's basically, so that's three points that I wasted right there. So in my opinion, you don't need to waste any points here. I would rather go up here and spend the point on bloodbath, sneak attack, and death strike. And like I said on my prior videos, cloud of still is a waste. So that should only be maybe one point there. Um, but other than that, these two are a waste. Okay, courage breaker is a really good one. I'm actually, I've, uh, I've got one point here. So I'm actually going to upgrade that to level 3 here. Courage Breaker, what it does is it shatters your enemy's courage, uh, slowing their movement speed and lowering their attack damage by 30%. Um, and as you can see, that double, well, it doubles and then triples every time you level it up. So when I hit somebody with this Courage Breaker, it's going to reduce their damage by 90%, which is an insane amount. So basically they're not even going to touch me. Um, or you can do skill for infiltrator increases your base run speed by five percent and deflect chance and crit by one percent. I don't find um, this. I may do this. I may put two points into this just because, um, just to get these open here. So whenever I get two more points, I'm probably going to invest in that. But see if I didn't have two in impact shot, one in gloomy cut, I could have already had this maxed out. Um, so. Other than that, everything looks um, like it was. First strike, I believe, only had two on my level 29 build video, so I went ahead and put three into that. That's a personal, so that's automatically effective. And don't forget, guys, on these yellow ones, you have to drag them down here in order for them to be active. Please don't forget that. I was playing half the game without any of these active. Um, so, yeah, make sure you guys do that. Um... I actually could take this first strike off and actually use infiltrator's action on this one down here because I have tactics and I don't have infiltrator's action. So I might try that out um, for two AP gain personal skills. Um, first strike is your first attack and combat deals 15% extra damage. So actually I'm going to go ahead and change that out right here for you guys. So right now in my personal I've got tactics which is um, every time uh, well, it increases your AP gain, which is the diamond here, um, by 5%. I've got that rank 3, so that's 15% total. And then Infiltrator, every time you do a daily, you gain uh, combat advantage for 15 seconds since I have 3 points in there. So these are going to be AP gains here. Um, I don't really see then, I guess, um, Sneak Attack, which is a waste too, since I'm not even going to use that in personal. So don't even bother with that like I said I'm gonna respec I'm gonna I don't find it a waste of money but I'm gonna go ahead and spend the money on buying respec tokens once I hit level 60 and I'm going to respec all of this and uh, I'm gonna show you guys basically my perfect build so stay tuned for that um, I'll probably make another build video at 50 and then another one at 60 and then respec uh, at 60 and then go ahead and redo my final build for you guys so hopefully you guys have quite an idea before you even get started um, about the powers here. Um, that reminds me, 
the feet um, I got a feet so right here I'm gonna also change this I went ahead and went in the saboteur because I went ahead and spec'd into it but on my respec I'm gonna go into executioner here um, which is basically crits and high damage strikes so if you guys want to go ahead and go the executioner path go ahead and do that but for the time being I went ahead and went with saboteur um, let's see here uh, we're gonna go ahead and spec into that one so here we've got um, three into speed swindle which is when you crit an enemy it loses I believe I've got three so that's six percent run speed and you gain six percent run speed I've got cunning stalker maxed which while stealth you build action points which that one's pretty good that's twenty percent action points when I'm stealth so that's the only one I'll probably be missing from saboteur um, your gloaming cut now grants uh, let's see four percent stealth which is why I put one into gloaming cut to see if that was worth anything so basically I guess you can call this first build a time trial not a time trial a uh, I guess a trial in general um, I didn't have anything in a nimble dodge nothing in the baited action because I don't even use bait and switch so that's pointless to me um, expert sneak uh, while stealth you gain let's see I've got six percent speed and your at will powers reduce your targets damage by three percent so that's pretty good bait and switch would be good in PvP um, if you could get the person to fall for it what it is bait baited action is your bait and switch dummy has a certain percentage more health and reflects a certain percentage of more damage dealt to it so like I said it's you can use bait and stealth or um, I'm sorry um, bait and switch there you go I totally forgot the name of it um, which is right here but as you can see I don't even use it so pointless so hopefully you guys enjoyed that you got a little insight on how to build um, build your rogue your trickster rogue um, before you guys go into a trial and error like I'm doing right now like I said there's there's certain ones you use and certain ones you don't use so that's about it stay tuned like I said um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it please subscribe I'd appreciate it and have a good one